Investigators reviewing the emergency response to last year's wildfire that killed 102 people on Maui said in a report released Friday they found, no evidence, Hawaii officials made preparations for it, despite days of warnings that critical fire weather was coming. That lack of planning hindered efforts to evacuate the historic town of Lahaina before it burned, the report said. A forecaster with the National Weather Service emailed fire managers an unprecedented advance warning on August 4, 2023, of the danger that would develop on August 8, including extreme winds as a hurricane passed far to the south, according to the report released by the state attorney general. But in the ensuing days, the report found, there is no evidence that key agencies the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, Maui Fire Department, Maui Police and others developed plans for dealing with severe wildfire risk, such as by having extra staff on duty, stationing emergency vehicles or supplies in high-risk areas, or plotting possible evacuations. The strongly worded nature of the email, had it been communicated to fire managers in other states with better developed severity preparedness strategies, could have gained attention and prompted discussion and operational planning, the report said. It was a call for state of Hawaii fire managers to prepare for the impending extreme weather. The heroic efforts of firefighters and police who frequently risked their lives, sometimes sprinting door to door to warn residents to leave were undercut by the lack of planning as the deadliest U.S. wildfire in a century destroyed thousands of buildings. A Maui County spokeswoman said the county received the report when it was released to the public and wouldn't be able to comment until officials had an opportunity to review it. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency didn't immediately respond with comment. We have to act, Attorney General and Lopez said at a news conference in Honolulu. We have an obligation to every person in Hawaii to do better and to be better and make sure our communities grow and are built better. Maui fire commanders discussed the forecast, but no evidence of pre-event preparedness plans by the MFD were produced, the report said. The police and fire departments never established a unified incident command post or action plan, and as a result it was more difficult to know who was responding to what, where to direct resources, or which evacuation routes were blocked by downed trees or power lines. The departments share a mobile command vehicle, but the county did not provide evidence that it was used that day, the report said. Some emergency vehicles didn't have equipment for clearing roadblocks. What the fuck, dude? But the events of August 8th underscore the importance of addressing the well-documented fire risks that exist in the state of Hawaii. The wildfire prevention, preparedness, and operational measures in place that day face significant, if not sometimes unprecedented, challenges as the threat escalated. This situation highlights opportunities to bolster resources and refine implementation strategies to better align with response capabilities and the risks that exist here in the state of Hawaii and also in the county of Maui. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Yo. Ma'am, it's hot. Yo. Just go, Dad. We're good. Motherfucker. Off road. Fuck. Off. Quick, 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 quick. So I think the risk is real and it's a present danger and climate change will only continue to make these things worse. With this in mind, I, I want to reiterate that this administration is committed to ensuring that we don't sit on these recommendations. Hello? And uh, I am confident after my conversations with the governor and with the legislature that they're ready to uh, meet that urgency with legislation that will help us. 
Stop being stubborn and get out of Lahaina now. It's gonna go bad fast, brother. Get your stuff. We have to act and we have no excuse to not act with the findings and the recommendations that are in this report and those that will come in phase three. We have an obligation um, to every person in Hawaii to do better and to be better and make sure our communities grow and are built better. This report concludes the devastation caused by the Lahaina fire cannot be connected to one specific organization, individual, action, or event. The conditions that made this tragedy possible were years in the making. Yank the left, yank the left right here. Not too fast, not too fast. We need the guys in the yeah, back yeah. with us. Oh, right here. Better. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck it, fuck it.